Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We are on Windows 10. Let's quickly share some data. That's my system information. So you know what kind of Windows 10 we're working if we, we run into problems. We're going to install VirtualBox. Then in VirtualBox we're going to install Arch Labs. I've already opened Firefox. This is the URL for to, to get your VirtualBox. I've already downloaded it. This is the website for Arch Labs, blog.wordpress.com. You'll find it online. And here you have this link, get Arch Labs, and it is here on SourceForge. So I've prepared all that. So everything is now downloaded. Let's take a look in our downloads, which is here. That's the ISO, and that's the VirtualBox. So without further ado, let's install VirtualBox. It's quite easy. Just do next, next, next. Don't want too many things on my uh, desktop, as you can see. Don't want to have that. For the rest, I'm okay with it. So next, yes, yes, install. Bring that installation. But the technicality will come later. Let's install that. Done. Finish. You must restart your system. To, for everybody, everything to, to be able to, to do, to, to, to take effect. So, sorry, but we'll have to cut the tutorial into two. Okay, VirtualBox is now installed. It asked me to reboot. So, I'm gonna check if it is there. It is there. I'm gonna make it in here, so I can always click on it. And now we have here, of course, in, in, in Dutch. So let me quickly check if I can change this one to English for you. Okay. Well, so everybody can follow. Let's change to English. So file preferences, and there you have the language. Let's first take a look at new. So I want to install Arch Labs Yoda. I hope that's clear for you guys. 4.1 Arch Labs Yoda new. So I'm gonna tell it's whoops caps lock. I'm gonna tell it's Arch Labs Yoda. It's he knows what to do. 64 bits. And now we are going to use our common sense, meaning we have eight uh, gigabytes. Meaning I'm gonna give half to the system here, half to Windows and half to Arch Labs. Okay. Next, create, next, dynamically, and here I give more or less 15, 14, 15, it's enough. You can even go uh, lower than that, but you don't want to be too, well, it needs some gigabytes. Then, we go to the technical part, we go into settings, we don't do anything yet here, we go first to settings and check out those. It's uh, always the same if it's on VirtualBox or, or, or Mac or Windows, it's the same. So you check out all these tabs, and the ones that matter are over here. We have eight CPUs, and so I'm gonna give four cores, well, not eight CPUs, but four cores to the system and four to Arch Labs. Okay, that's that. Acceleration is already activated, so we can enable 3D, although I don't think that's uh, having too much effect, but I'm activating it anyway. And that's for me, this this is already enough. So I say, okay, I finish this. This is a clean way of installing. All the settings are okay. So next time I have to run another distro, try another distro. So now you clone this thing. And I say, okay, this is gonna be Arch Labs Yoda, but uh, we have to give it a new name. So I'm gonna, it's actually 4.1, so next, it's gonna be a clone, a full clone of this one up here, and you can always change the name here, just Arch Labs, and this is empty, so this is for me a template, that's the way it works, doesn't, it doesn't matter, eh? you can do whatever you want, so this is my template, well, well let's call it template, eh? okay, so you can clone it and then you install Linux Mint and then install 
uh, Ubuntu, then you install Solus and whatever, any distro is possible. This is my settings. I have a CPU, I have the, the memory, and so on and so on. So starting from this, I can always copy. And then you load something into the drive, choose disk image, download, arch labs, OK. And now the fun starts. Let's maximize, start, and see what happens. Well, maximize was not a good idea. Actually, we need to maximize this one. Now we get the first installation. Now we get all these pop-ups. Read them and then get rid of them. Here, do not show this message again. Click on here, read it. Don't show the message again. And capture. And now we have a choice. So we have to install Arch Labs. Of course, there's only one choice here. And that's the first one. Enter. Again a pop-up, just read it and then OK, close it. Now all these pop-ups, I believe we've had them all. And we can make it a little bit bigger. And in about 15 seconds, Arch Labs is booted. Here we are. If you don't want to see this, we can get rid of it, but it's a live CD, so it's going to show anyway. Um, so there are two things that happen. We have this Arch Labs Hello that says, OK, who we are, where can you f uh, find some information, tutorials, chat room, forums, get involved, development, and donate. So actually, we get that, that as well when we boot later on. So we get rid of that, and then we start with installation. The installation. There's only one advice possible, please install without dual boot, it makes life's life easier. But in this case we're on virtual machine, so we are not dual booting anyway. Erase disk, next. What's your name? Mine is Eric. I'm gonna call it Yoda. And I'm gonna give it a password. I'm always logging in automatically without asking my password, nobody touches my computer at home. And next. And that's it. Now the machine will run about three minutes. So I have to fill three minutes and talk about Arch Labs in the meantime. No problem there. We just go to several sites we can, uh, I can advise you to go to. Well, first off, well, we have here some links, Arch Labs. So this is our, this is our website. And the website's Arch Labs Linux has been updated because we've just released 4.1, so the Yoda release. And you can go and check out what it says, what we've done. We've done some releases already. And um, we finished with a 4.0, and we had some topics in our roadmap. We said we want to fix this, we want that, we want that. So everything has been taken care of, so we are reporting what we did, so the boot time is, is really uh, measured every time, so it's really a, a race against the clock, it's important that it boots fast, that's a fast machine. At this point in time on my PC here, it uh, boots at 6 seconds, so I'm quite happy with that. So you just read on, a lot of things happens. Um, major thing I think is that we have now a rolling release, somewhere you'll find it here. Rolling release means that when you will, will update Arch Labs, you will update it via Pac-Man, which is a standard packages, but also via AUR packages. So we have created, I think, 11 AUR packages, so parts of Arch Labs. When we update something like something simple, like a wallpaper, when we add a wallpaper, you'll get it later on when you say, update my system, you'll get them in. So that's the idea. 4.1 has this. Uh, 4.0 does not have this, but there's a way around it, but the best thing to do is just get rid of the 4.0 or the 3.6 or any previous ones. Do a clean install, and what's my procedure? I keep everything on Dropbox, on InSync, external drives, and things that matter are there. And anything, um, well, I'll just format my, my SSDs, 
and then get everything back from the cloud. So that's my procedure. Let's get back and look. Okay, still have to speech some more. Then another uh, link you should check out is the Arch Labs public. There's a lot of people around here on the Google Plus, and there's a lot of documentation. So um, I have over 67, 70 tutorials. Maybe we should uh, just click on a YouTube somewhere. And there's 68 already here. So meaning we have lots of information and tutorials about Linux, Arch Linux and Arch Labs in specific. So it's it can be can be a way to get to study about Linux because we have all the tutorials for you to, to, to learn about Linux and to well to acquire the knowledge to know your system a little bit more. So that's uh, another uh, hint. Okay, still talking. No problem for me. What else? Um, we have indeed an Arch Labs Linux Facebook as well. There's a group and there's a page. So uh, we post reg regularly on Facebook, but um, the real activity, the real questions where people help each other is really happening here on Google Plus because sometimes people ask a question and others answer for us. So that's great. We do not do all the work. That's fantastic that we help each other out. That's that's Linux. That's helping each other. Fine. Thanks. So that's uh, Facebook. What else? Bum, 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 bum. This is our GitHub. So this is where everything is stored. We have um, we use GitHub. GitHub is, is Linux, and we use it to well to picture together to to build our ISOs, so the image we've downloaded and we are now installing, that's coming from here. So any, anything we upload in here, we change in here, will be then transferred, well not transferred, but will update the AUR and you'll get the update from GitHub. So that's how it works. Anything else? That's about it. Maybe you like to be part of the beta beta testers. So the people we give, um, if, if you're serious about it, means that you really test out new ISO. So we're going to release 4.1.1. And then we ask, OK, we changed this and that. Could you check it? Is it correct? Is it working on your end? So that's, that's what uh, beta testers are about. But we actually invite you. So. Um, we, we find out who's really motivated to, to test out Arch Labs. What else? Oh yeah, let's first check. All done. Okay, well, what we do now is not restart now. I'm going to quit here. And the reason is, what we're going to do now is end this virtual machine, exit. Shut down. And why? Because the next time I want to boot, I will want to get rid of this here. So it's going to try to reboot from Arch Labs. And I don't want that. So now I want him to boot from SSD, the SATA port here, the hard disk. So there you go. Take a, a time machine, timer, and see how long it boots on VirtualBox. My night time is from here, so when I press enter, now is the time to count in your head how many seconds it takes. Arch Labs is quite fast, and I stop when the wallpaper is there. That's for me enough. So that's how fast it goes. That's Arch Labs for you. Again, you get this information the first time you boot, you check out whatever you want to, click it away. And then you'll see that on the second boot, it will not uh, show up anymore. I created this ISO on the 1st, 4th of June. And we're now the 6th. <laughs> and in the meantime, and that's Arch Linux for you. In the meantime, we have 41, what was it? Updates already. 
41 available updates and uh, 53 megabytes. So already a lot of work to do. So this is the updater, the PAMAC updater. There are other ways, but it's quite useful. We've been using it since February. It's stable, it works, it's fine. Um, that's it actually. I think we have now VirtualBox uh, explained. There's one thing maybe I should explain, and that is of course these lines here. Mm, lots of us do not like it, so you go to view, full screen mode, read what it says. It says Control F to get out of it. Don't show it anymore. Switch. Now, there you go. He knows now I have 1920 on 1080 and he expanded it on top, but the wallpaper here is now ugly. Doesn't matter. It's just a wallpaper. So choose wallpaper, wall, apply, close, done. And there you are. Getting back out of it, Control F. And now our tutorial is finished. Enjoy.